charter school near Atlanta had to be evacuated after more than a dozen kids had problem breathing. Now the hazmat posting online to see what brands you like. What? Money expert Jen tells you they're using that information to send you ads. Okay, so they're not using your picture in the ads, but they're using that to yeah. send you ads. But it, I mean, it raises these questions and they're not just scanning your photos, Rob, they're storing them too, which that's all. Did you see that Sarah Silverman story? I'm not even gonna get into that too so, much, but oh, she, she proposed a tax to make up for all the money that women don't make. <laughs> she called it the V tax. Who did? Sarah Silverman, the comedian. <laughs> All right, Jen, thank you. <laughs> All right, 45 minutes past the hour, a woman in Baltimore is teaching children that it's okay to cry. She helps them overcome the grief and the pain after a loved one dies. So we introduce you to Annette March Greer, one of this year's top 10 CNN heroes. This is Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, one of the 2015 nominees for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So the other hopefuls are Green Day, Nine Inch Nails, NWA, The Smiths, Lou Reed, and Sting. Did you know that you can help pick the winner? Are you kidding me? For the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Online. Last year's inductees included Nirvana and Kiss. Here's a little tip from Candace Fontaine, the karaoke queen inside me. Yes. If you are someone who cannot sing very well and you're a female, uh -huh. um, I always tell my friends, go for that song. Almost anybody can sing that song. Yeah, you, yeah. you're just built it No out. diss to Joan Jett, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love for the guys? Yeah. Uh, for the guys? Yeah. Um, Sing it too? What the no, 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 no. For the guys, it's B-52's um, uh, Love Shack. Because all you have to do is talk. I got me a right. car. So it's 50 years it away. Louie Louie, so you can kind of mumble and stumble your way right. through. That's my go-to all the time. But yeah, hey, good morning, everybody. Let me show you. If you're traveling today, it's Getaway Friday. Got a lot of clouds now racing through the mid-Atlantic states up to the northeast. And that means probably he's getting some delays. It is the marketers are now checking out the selfies that you post online to see what brands you like. Uh, for example, money expert Jen is about to show you some pictures that'll give you an example of what do you mean? What are they looking for? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, and these are some great pictures of our staff, but look for the products too, because digital markers, did you know this? I mean, the photos that you put up on places like Pinterest and Instagram, they're not only the hour. Who is ready for a Friday? Maybe just not yet. You're fine just the way you are. I'm Robin Mead, morning sunshine. Let's get you ready. First off, with breaking news overnight, she was shot just trying to okay, good. She does, yeah. Good, all right. Yeah, she, uh, it's, it'd be tough to follow up Bruno Mars' great, great performance, but she could probably do it. Thank you. Uh, yes, Bob? No, I'm just thinking Tammany Hall back in the day, the NFL equated to that. Thank you, Don Goodell. We will pay you that stipend that you want. <laughs> Mike knows what I'm talking about. All right. Just Come head. on, I'm this just kidding. Morning. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hey, I knew I knew the face you were making though was Bob wants to say something no, and is not no. sure if he should. Yes. Well, that's always the truth. Now, if you have football in your blood and tonight you have Friday night lights to take care yeah. of, let's find out if the weather is going to be good for you. It's a good it's a good question because we've got two atmospheres. One is winter and one is clearly still summer. Let me show you the map that we're talking about now. It is 15 minutes past the hour. Today's salute to the troops is for Lance Corporal Michael Joseph Moreland. He and his wife of three months, that's all, are stationed at Marine Corps Air Station in Beaufort, South Carolina. She just wants him to know how much she appreciates everything that he does and all the sacrifices that he's made for her and for the country. And it gave us a great reason to also salute him, but to show your beautiful wedding pictures. Wow. If you have someone that you love in the military, least we can do is give you this space so you can get a salute to them. So go to hlntv.com slash drop it. Okay. You know, if you grabbed ice cream or something else at a Dairy Queen in August or September, likely months, right? Hackers may have gotten a hold of your credit and your debit card information. Here we go again. And money expert Jen says just add it to like the list of yeah. how many have we had this year. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. And it's the same thing uh, in terms of the way that they got in at Home Depot and Target. You swiped your card. That thing at the register, that little gadget, 
had been hacked, basically. So they swiped your data. The list so long now. Target, J.P. Morgan, P.F. Changs. It goes on, and now. Dairy Queen, there where you were, getting your little blizzard. And hackers got your name and credit and or debit card number, depending on what you might have used. 400 Dairy, different stores, right? Yeah, Dairy Queen says it happened at these stores over the past two months. So if you want to know, maybe you were at Dairy Queen, were, was it one of these? Because they have a lot more than 400 stores. Mm -hmm. You can check out our Facebook page, Morning Express HLN, see which ones are there, and then you'll know whether or not you need to get in contact with them. They do have one year of credit monitoring. Okay. Amazon, the online shopping Giant. You know that 10 years ago they said, oh, is this going to hurt brick and mortar stores? And it has. Is opening a, a brick and mortar store? Yeah. <laughs> so says the Wall Street Journal. They say that Amazon is looking at building a shop or opening up a shop across the street from the glorious Empire State Building, so on 34th Street in Manhattan, to be open in time for the holidays. So, so just before the holidays, I wonder? Yeah, so I, it, that's what I'm wondering too. Is it just for the holidays? Is it just to have some kind of a presence when people are out there doing their shopping? Maybe they might even say, here's an example of everything that we have, of not everything, they've got millions of things, lots of things we have, maybe you just beep it and then they ship it to your home too. I wonder kind of interesting. Let's we'll see what they do with it. Okay. So um, the Vikings, Adrian Peterson, allegedly admitted to, quote, smoking a little weed, unquote. Now he's in danger of being arrested again. Actor James Earl Jones, voice of Darth Vader, may be returning to the dark side. But meanwhile, this is HLN. <laughs> Heavy drinking, sucker punches. It's how police in Alaska describe a brawl that they say involves Sarah Palin's family. Now, this happened at a party, they say, on September 6th, but the official report just came out, so this is where the information's coming from. No charges are filed, FYI. But Palin's son, Track, told the cops that he fought with other guests over rude comments that they were making about his sisters. Cops say Track and Bristol appear to be drunk. Sarah Palin and her husband were there. Minnesota Vikings player Adrian Peterson could be arrested again after he allegedly admitted to smoking marijuana. That would be while he's out on bail on a felony child abuse charge. So Mike has more on this story. Problems on top of problems. Exactly. And that's what people are like, really? With the world watching you and you're facing a felony child abuse charge for using a switch on your four-year-old son. Now this. And Montgomery County prosecutors, they want to rearrest him, revoke the $15,000 bail. Here, here's the specific. You be the judge on that. Uh, many people, I think, probably will say it sounds ludicrous. All right. Does. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Doing the same workout may give you the same results, but that's not a good thing. Fitness expert Tony Horton will probably be the one rocking out for the Super Bowl halftime show. What a great gig. But it's not a done deal just yet. Mike Alanos has more on what could be the sticking point. Good yeah. morning. Yeah, multiple, per, per, multiple reports. It's nine. <laughs> Late hours wearing on me a little bit. Or 10 or 11. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mornings weren't on. Anyway, deals being hammered out. But the sticking point to what you're talking about here is remember that idea that the NFL was floating out there? Nothing confirmed, but you're going to pay if you want to play. 111 million people watch you at halftime. You get all the benefits of that. So you kick a little something back, maybe uh, a little contribution to the league. Now, to that, Katy Perry, in a recent interview, Robin, had just said, I'm not the kind of girl that's going to pay to play. So we'll see. She was one of the finalists from what we gather, along with Rihanna and Coldplay. So I think she's a great pick. She's young. She's fun. She'll draw on the younger crowd. The NFL's very cognizant of that. And anybody of any age, you know, you're going to be entertained by what she has to offer. Bruno Mars was great last year. So, again, deal in the works, being hammered out, not a Official yet again, Super Bowl uh, 2015, Super Bowl 49 going to be played in Arizona. We'll see if it's Katy Perry. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Eight minutes, nine minutes past the hour. Come and um, look at some surveillance tape that shows a little pony just walking into a police station like it owns a place. This was Monday in England. Look at the guy shoot it out like it's a kitty cat. <laughs> shoo! Shoo! Right, right, you can't come in here. Right. <laughs> Uh, is that my Nipasa? Um, the horse came in anyway, and officers found out that the horse had apparently gotten out of a nearby field. So then somebody who knew what they were doing came and took the pony home. They call it a horse, but I think it's a pony, don't you? Right. Shit and pony. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's Keith Richards. <laughs> right. What would Keith Richards say about the pony? Right, right. Pony, right. Uh, a golf here with the bobbies. <laughs>
<laughs> That's what he'd say. Uh, anything to get Bob to do a Keith Richards in, in <laughs> impersonation here. Uh, Good morning. Uh -huh. So you might be up watching and thinking, okay, I got to get this packed, and this one has to go off to a football game. Mm -hmm. How's the weather for such tonight? Hi, Bob. Yeah, it's a classic setup, you guys. I want you to look at this right now. You've got cold air up to the north. You've got very warm air for this time of year. Uh, karaoke is that if you're not exactly um, great at karaoke for females, that is a good song. Because usually the crowd's yelling anyway, and 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 just about <laughs> anyone go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for the guys, what do we sing? Yeah, do it. B 52s um, Love Shack, because you can just talk. You just I yell. got me a car. It's as big. Yeah, that's right. You guys just talking. That's right. Do you guys have a, a karaoke name? Louis Louis is my oh, name. Yeah. Louis Louis is my go-to, but uh, I don't I don't know about you, Mike. Didn't have a name. I'm. You need a suit or uh, yeah, all right. all right. Mine's Candace I'm Fontaine. Even... <laughs> <laughs> Buck naked. I don't know. Buck naked? <laughs> Let me show you some stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, ju this just in. Hey, what? Uh, you can see the way it goes. we got heavy rain across the Ohio Valley and Mississippi Valley, too. It's all edging into New York. <laughs> I'm going to get this train back on the track. Nice reference. Back on the track. All right. Top Heisman Trophy candidate Todd Gurley, he plays for the Uni University of Georgia, right? Uh, he's been suspended indefinitely for allegedly breaking some NCAA rules. Now, Mike has more information on what those rules were. Good morning. Yeah, the bottom line is getting cash for signing, your, for signing an autograph. You cannot do that. Here's the verbiage here. College athletes can't use their likeness or name in any way to profit. And that's what we're talking about. But you're thinking, this guy could win the Heisman. He's going to be a pro. You can't wait. You're going to make a few hundred bucks and possibly be suspended from multiple State games. had the same problem, allegedly, yeah, remember? Well, guys do that. They see a little bit of greenery, and they're going to go for it. And here we got some reporting from Sports Illustrated that uh, there's a broker who confirmed to Georgia's compliance 